Hello, Mario Nugget Pips. So welcome. This is the continuation of our series Checkpoint 101. So in this video, I will going to show you um, how to configure or how, how to finish the checkpoint first time configuration wizard. Alright, so let's start. Before that, we will review again. This is our uh, working topology our management is 172.16.20.254 and we have two ISP the ISP1 which has a 5.5 IP address and ISP2 which is, has a 7.777 IP address so you need to access the, it's the checkpoint management GUI to its IP address set on the first video which is a 172.16.20.54 so input your accounts so here this is the uh, first uh, image for the checkpoint first time configuration user. as you can see here is the version r80.30 and the platform that we are using is firmware all right so click next so in setup uh, by default we are going to continue with r80.30 configuration so again if you want to change the management ip address you can do so also here but since we already have uh, a working management IP address which is based on our topology, we will, we will not um, do anything here and just click and the, leave the values as it is and click next. So here, uh, this, this configuration is asking for the interface that we're going to use for the internet access so as you can see here we have the choices eth1 eth2 which is our both isp so you can actually configure that later on or you can also configure it now which is manually and take this uh input the value of your public ip address here for now, I'm going to leave it is as off because I'm going to configure it later when the first time configuration is done. Okay. So next. So here, I actually rename it the host name to Mario Nuggets slash firewall and use the primary DNS 8.8.8.8 which is a Google DNS and my secondary is 1.1.1.1 one 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 is the cloud layer one and the virtual is 4.2.2 so if, we can, if, if you have um, uh, act, an actual or uh, you have o, you have your own DNS server you can actually use that your DNS server to 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 resolve all the domain names that checkpoints will be used. So, for this app, by the way, so this proxy server, meaning if this firewall is um, needed to use a proxy server to access or to have an access to internet, you can also do this here. Right? And the fourth. But for now, since we are directly connected, since our topology, as you can see here, directly connected to the internet, uh, we just leave it uh, as is and hit next. So the time here is October 12, 19, and the, and the time zone for me is Manila, since I'm living in the Philippines. So, but if you have if you have a NTP server, you can do so here. So that all of your 
uh, servers or applications and machines are running with the same uh, same time so and time zone so but as in in our case we don't have that so we'll just leave it here and just choose our right time zone then hit next and this is installation type in this r80.30 it's first time that i saw this one so we don't have a choice but um maybe it's the the gui actually detected that we are running the 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 firmware the OS into a standalone deployment as you can see um, there's no choices here that if we're going to use this as only as a security gateway or or a management server only so in this in this case um, we just need to hit next on the previous version actually we have a choice if you're going to use that as a, only a gateway or a management server so the so this one this, this is what i talking about if you want to use this machine as only a security gateway you can uncheck this one but if you, but in our diagram we are going to use a standalone deployment so i just i need to check this one and this one clustering is um you can leave that because we, clustering is for the we have two firewalls okay and we need to act that one as one so for now this um it's highly recommended don't need to modify this or remove the check sign because um after this this first time configuration wizard it it will download all the blades that needed to run our checkpoint firewall okay so just hit next here then we have a we have a choice if we need if we want to to modify our admin account so you can do so here but for us since i'm okay with the admin accounts so i just leave it as it is and hit next so here it says here that what only the ip address are able to access the management ip address the choices here is the any ip address and this machine for only such a uh, few, few machine or single machine or network Range of IP address for me, you can uh, since this is an initial configuration, we just need to left it uh, as is and modify the policies later. So, for this, the last one will be um, it will ask you um, to that the device will be configured with security gateway and management and security management. So, on this one, I normally uh, uncheck this one for some reason. But you can do so if you have any problem with that. But for me, um, I just want to uncheck that for some reason. Okay. And after that, hit finish. Then we'll prompt you. This will start the configuration process. Are you sure you want to continue? Just hit yes. As you can see. Uh, the first time configuration is after starting and later it will be finished in a while so let's, let's just wait for it to finish
So I'm going to pause the video until um, the first time of connection you said is actually done. So that the video is short, please. Okay, thank you.